one of these people could be winning £10,000. But to do so, they must eliminate all the others in a fight for survival. It's Dog Eat Dog. Good evening and a very warm welcome to Dog Eat Dog, the show where survival counts and weakness counts. These 16 letters can be placed in this 4x4 grid in such a way as to simultaneously spell out eight different words, four reading across and four down. You must solve the crossword style clues in order to insert the letters into the grid correctly. For example, clue two down is sword fight, which is jewel. You have two minutes to complete the grid. So, think back to your assessment. Who was worst at words? It's time to choose the loser. But here's what happened when they had to handle words. I would pick one of the girls, uh, probably Steph. I think part of me wants to say Ian, and although he did score highly, I don't think he particularly enjoys doing mental challenges. Word-wise, I think she's been pretty near the bottom of the group with marks. Steph, I think. Well, that was then, and this is now. Please reveal your votes. Steph. Steph. Ian. Well, Steph, either your luck's about to run out, or you could be very, very lucky. Um, when we went away, we did an English test, and I didn't score too highly, but I think I did okay. All right then, Steph, let's see how you are with words. <laughs> uh, I think it's fair to say that you did do the worst mm. when it came to the English. word test. Is that putting you off at this stage? Mm, a little bit. All right. Take up your position. Remember, you must fill up the grid so it spells out four words going across and four words going down. And you have two minutes in which to do it. Steph, your fight for survival starts now. She's going for two down, a continent. That's wrong. This could cost her time. Now she's got it. Did it wrong? Incorrect. Mm. Continent, you put land. I know. <laughs> and at that stage, of course, I thought you were going to run into terrible trouble because with the first word wrong, mm, you can't go that. anywhere from there. So what was your change of thinking? I saw Ring of Light and I couldn't think of anything else except for Halo. And I saw the letters were there and once that was in, the rest just slotted in nicely. <laughs> oh, it certainly did. Now then, you now have a choice between Ian or Chris to take your place on the loser's bench, who will it be? I think I'm going to choose Chris. Chris, come over here. You must feel a little... 
upset. upset by this. Yes. Yeah. You didn't choose Steph. That's right, yeah. Before, and now she's yeah. chosen you. Was that a surprise? Um, no. <laughs> so, do you think you're the strongest person here, then? Oh, not anymore, I'm not, no. 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 <laughs> so, no. No, absolutely not. Um, why did you choose Chris? I think just out of the two, Chris was the one who sort of poses the most threat to me. See, she thinks you're the strongest. Oh, good. Now you've said it, yeah, that's the reason. <laughs> <laughs> so, you're all back in the game, Steph. So, please, take your places. <laughs> There were two. You're now playing head to head. Now, this game is all about nerve. Come and see how it works. <laughs> now, this game is called stealth. And very simply, you have to walk from here to the far end and press the button on the spike. The bad news is that if you move too suddenly, an alarm will go off. And you must step back to the last square you successfully cleared. Now, the sensors at the end will show just how close you are to setting off the alarm. Ian and Steph, are you ready? Yeah. Yeah. Your fight for survival starts now. Just the toughest thing you've ever had to do? She was in front of me and I was thinking a few things. <laughs> you were, in fact, talking to the floor. Were you aware of that? I thought, Going... the, I thought the machine was wrong. <laughs> well, it really doesn't matter because you've come through it, so you did fantastically well. And I'm very mm. sorry, Steph, but you know what this means, don't you? Let's hear it for Steph. <laughs> Now then, Ian, you are tonight's top dog, and you could be winning £10,000. Did you think you would get this far? No, especially when it came to this last game and Steph being a dancer. I thought that was it. No chance. All right. Well, let's see if the others thought it would be you. Ian is a very, very extrovert, brash Irishman who's hiding a lot of his talents. Very if you like, full of himself, but I think it might go against him. I think he, he might be too confident when we're in there. He's, he's quite a sensitive guy, but he's very confident and he comes across as um, he likes a bit of a challenge. He's got the gift of the gab, um, but he can actually back it up. Yeah, if I wasn't fighting for this money myself, Ian was the man I'd, I'd like to win it. How are you? You are the winner, but it's not quite over yet. You're now playing for £10,000, but you could still leave 
empty-handed. Because this is where the losers can take their ultimate revenge. I have here five general knowledge questions, each in a separate category. You don't have to answer them yourself. Instead, for each question, you must decide which of that lot is most likely to get it wrong. <laughs> for each one they do get wrong, you score a point. But for each one they get right, they score a point. The first to three points win. Now, if you win, the 10 grand is yours. But if they win, they take your 10 grand and share it amongst themselves, walking away with two grand each. <laughs> An unexpected surprise, perhaps. So you may be top dog, but you won't be any richer. You can only choose each of them once. So think carefully. Okay. Let's play for 10,000 pounds. The first subject is film. Who is most likely to get a question on film wrong? I don't know, but I wouldn't pick Steph because she's in the arts business. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pick Fleur. Fleur, step forward, please. Oh. Here's the question. Who won the Oscar for Best Director in 2000 for American Beauty? Zeffirelli? The correct answer is Sam Mendes. One point to Ian. We now move on to our second category, which is history. Who do you think is going to get this wrong? I've got a lot of faith in the two lads sitting there, so I'm not going to pick any of them. <laughs> Possibly because Chris is older, so he knows a lot more history. <laughs> I'd like to ask Steph. Steph, please step forward. Here's the question. Which civil rights leader gave his I Have a Dream speech in Washington, D.C. on the 28th of August, 1963? Is it Martin Luther King? The correct answer is Martin Luther King. <laughs> Ian, it's one all. Oops. Our next category is food and drink. Who would you like to step forward for a question on food and drink? Chris, you probably cook a lot, being a father. <laughs> so I'd like to go for Nick. Nick, please step forward. Here's the question. From which country does the cheese gorgonzola originate? Is it Italy? The correct answer is... Italy. <laughs> so, Ian? answer the next question correctly, they will take away your £10,000. So think carefully when you choose somebody to answer a question on sport. I'm going to have to go for Anna. Anna, please step forward. Go on. Okay, Anna and Ian. This is for £10,000. Here's the question. Which horse won the Grand National in 1973, 1974 and 1977? I'm going to have to guess. Desert Orchid. For £10,000. 
The correct answer is red rum. <laughs> One point. Well, Ian, this is as close as it's ever going to get. All that stands between you and the £10,000... ..is Chris. <laughs> ..is one point. And the category is... ..art. Chris, please step forward. If you answer this question correctly, you will personally gain £2,000 and so will your four colleagues. Oh. Here is the question. Which artist, born in 1776, painted the Hay Wain? Two in mind. I'm going to go for Constable. You answered Constable. The correct answer is John Constable. I can only imagine how you're feeling now. You've been uh, perky and jolly throughout the show and you must feel... Like getting hammered now. <laughs> Did you know the answer to the last question? Yes. So you knew? Yes. I'm very, very sorry. But there's five people over there who are absolutely delighted. How are you feeling, guys? Absolutely Great. delighted. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Ian, you tried. And gentlemen, that really is Dog Eat Dog. See you next time, and remember, every dog has its day. Good night. I can't believe I've lost it. I'm devastated. Flipping 10 grand. 10,000 pounds in his grasp, and it slipped away. Hopefully he'll buy me a drink tonight. He flirted with all three of us, and I think that was one of his tactics, and to be honest, it didn't really work. <laughs> I'm really delighted that we got our own back. Nice, new clothes, new outfit. It'd be really good, yeah. <laughs> it was great. It was brilliant, but I do feel terrible for it. Ish. I get nothing. I get nothing. All that.